Not as fast as what he can run with the light system. And here we go. There's his start list for the women's 400 metres. Open. Heat one. In lane, in lane two, we've got Olivia Casson from New South Wales. Bethany Hamley from New South Wales in lane three. Lane four, Alison McAvoy from New South Wales. Lane five, there we go. Olympian defending Australian champion Morgan Mitchell from Victoria. She'll be the one to watch in this one. Also, another one to watch is Olivia Toro on her outside in lane six from New South Wales, former junior representative. Lane seven, Samantha Lynn from Tasmania. In lane eight, Emily Lawson, Victoria. And rounding out your field in lane nine is Jess Stafford from New South Wales. Now, a lot of uh, junior representatives, Olivia Kaysen went to World Juniors last year, Sam Lind and Rachel, uh, sorry, Emily Lawson. They've all been to World Juniors as well. Olivia Torres medaled at World Juniors in the, in the 4x4 in 2008. Morgan Mitchell went in 2012. So a lot of talent here. There'll be two heats. Top three for each heat plus the next two best times make their way through. And I think we'll probably see Morgan Mitchell. And I think the next fastest on performances this year is Olivia Toro. And we'll see who can take out those first three. So Morgan Mitchell should go out fairly hard, but Olivia Toro doesn't mind going out quickly as well. And they're really starting to stretch away from McAvoy, who is in lane four. But as they get into their running, Morgan Mitchell, just another class, 51-25, personal yeah, best. Definitely above the rest of these athletes for sure in class. And you can see that as she moves down the back straight. She really put the burners on. She's going to go into the uh, bend with 200 to go in that lead. She's going to round and come into the straight with a commanding in a commanding position. But Olivia Torres is not letting it have her all her own way. She's going to push her through here. But as you can see, Morgan Mitchell doing it nice and easily. She's definitely well in front of the rest of the field. And uh, Olivia Torres in second, working hard. As the athlete on her outside, Samantha Lynn in third. But... This is all Morgan Mitchell, and she's going to take line honours, 53-43, unofficial. Second, Olivia Toro, followed by Samantha Lynn. That'll be three automatics through to the final. Fast of- finish there from Jess Stafford to try and get that fourth position and put herself in, uh, in the best position to try and get that non-automatic qualifying time. Obviously, we have to wait for the second heat to determine who are our automatics and or who are our uh, fastest qualified athletes through obviously we got the first three as automatics and then the next two fastest yeah tough conditions there there we did when we did our walk of the track earlier we were thinking it's good conditions to go out hard tonight yep i'm not sure if it's changed too much in in the last hour or so since we've been here but good conditions to go out hard and it's tough there but it looks like we've got tamsin with the winner of that race morgan mitchell I'm going to be really quick, Morgan. Here, I'm going to make sure I cover you with the umbrella. Tell James I did. <laughs> um, fantastic back straight. Thank you. Um, yeah, we're just like focusing on the process in that race and trying to tick the boxes before the final on um, Saturday night. So it felt good and I'm happy. That's all I can ask for. Well, you look sensational. You look like you've worked really hard on your speed over this past since Rio. Is that what you and Peter Fitzgerald have been working on? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's been hell, I'm not going to lie, because I hate those long recoveries. I'm sure you'd know. Like, So impatient. But, um, I mean, it's my first six months of actually focusing on speed, and to knock half a second off of my 200 time, I'm just over the moon, and it's obviously showing in the fall, which I'm happy with as well. So, yeah. So if the weather gods shine nicely on a Saturday night, do you think we can see Morgan Mitchell going under 51 oh seconds? <laughs> but I, I hope so. Like, that would be awesome. Um, but everything has to come together. You know how it is. And, geez, if I did that, I'd be one happy girl. Yeah, screw the two, I'm going out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you're looking fantastic. Now go get warm. Good luck for the final, Morgan. Yeah, Tamsin, you might have to tell Morgan she will have to have a word to Steve Kane there, see if she can find herself her own personal umbrella holder. <laughs> There you go, your official you results guys, there. Did you guys understand what I meant? There was a great picture in the paper, Google it, guys, of her boyfriend who plays for Collingwood, James Ash. Ah, uh, yes, he I do remember it. Yes. She was getting wet. That did go quite viral, actually, on Facebook. <laughs> it did.